This is my fine art that I do when I'm not working on books. And it's just, again, it's kind of like the doodles. It's just really nice to draw what you want. And images pop in your head and there's something you want to try to accomplish with a medium. Well, I mean, I think that it's a one-shot deal with the character. You're actually letting the viewer imagine the story themselves. You're not writing the words down for them and telling them what's going to happen. And I mean, people can imagine anything they want with these. And uh, with the doodles, it's, it's the same. I mean, a talking carrot is one thing to me and another thing to someone else viewing it. So it's without page after page of establishing a uh, beginning, a middle, and an end to a story, you're just telling one with one image. So it's, it's challenging but fun, yeah. My, my fine art still tells a story, but it's, again, I'm not using any words for you, and, and there is a lot. I can tell you about this, but I won't, because it's up to you as the viewer to see and imagine your story about this drawing. Well, this one was really cool because it's when I discovered my characters got mad at me that I was doing these fine art ones. And he just, my hand drew him. I had no will. He made himself be in this, and this bunny. And it was like, I was gonna put an angel up there. And then he just put himself in there and then, so he's telling me don't give up on us and I'm not. I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna write, keep writing, but also do fine art. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota. Thank you.